Hi there, this is Beth Green, otherwise known as Granny Rocks. And this is James Maynard, otherwise known as Sweet Baby James. And tonight, we're going to talk about don't despair, because you never know. Hmm. Plus, there's going to be a surprise, because you never know. Oh, there you go. Yes. So, hmm. but before we get into the show tonight... What show is this, anyway? That's what the, the, you, you're going to tell us. You have come to Granny Rocks, where Granny shares with us her wit, wisdom, and uncommon sense every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Thank you for joining us, and stay tuned. Here's <laughs> Granny. So we have this little surprise, and I've queued it up, but you never know if it's going to work or not. So are we, uh, James, could you make sure uh, that we... Uh, uh, yeah, leave it to me. You carry on. Okay, carry on. Okay, so one of my... I, I, I heard a song today that I really related to. You know, it was kind of sad. Uh, you know, and it, it was a, by a young man. I mean, to me, he was young. right? And it was about... Um, you know, I can't even remember exactly what the title was, but about, uh, you know, I have nothing to look forward to or that kind of thing, and it was sad, and he, you know, it, it was talking about the loss of a relationship, but it was also about the world, and, um, By the I can, way, we have a couple of hellos. Oh, hello there. One is from Tracy from Arizona. Hello, Tracy. And the other hello is in, uh, says hi, and the name is in Arabic. Or some other language or that we don't know. Similar. Well, hi to you, whoever and you are. And also, Luann Cat says hi as well. Hello. Hello. Oh, thank you for joining us. I really appreciate that. Because so, you never know who's going to show up. That's true. And so, you know, at the end, there's just this little bit. It was a very not lovely song. And at the end, there was just a little bit of hope. But, you know, I thought, ah. Because I have <clears> been <throat> feeling that way a lot. You know, just like, oh, God, things are so bad and so hard. And I know that a lot of you are feeling that way. I mean, how could you not? We don't know what ha is happening to our economy. Uh, the, the stimulus talks have broken down. The stimulus talks are not happening. We have what looks like a make-believe solution from the president. We have continued racism and sexism and climate change-ism, which is happening, and so on. Mm -hmm. So, Oh, another hello here. This is from Amy. Hi, you two. She sends a couple of hearts. Well, hello, Amy. Hello. So, and you know, and I thought about, yeah, you know, I can feel that, too. I, I feel everybody's pain. Oh, and and the, you never know is always negative, right? I was like, oh, my God, is it going to get worse? And... You know what? But the fact is, you just never know any way, which way the wind is going to blow, do you? Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. So, who would have thought a year ago that we would be in the middle of a pandemic that would be shutting down the economy, that people would be in lockdown all over the world, people are dying, uh, you know, there's a lot of fools at the helm in a lot of places who are not really doing a great job, even though it would be tough for anybody. And Elizabeth says, hi, loves and kisses. Oh. Hugs and kisses, rather. Hello. Hello. Hi, back. Hug and kiss to you. Kisses to you, too. Let's make it plural. So, look. Oh, and Karen says, hi, you too. Hi. She sends hearts also. Hi, green, Karen. Green hearts. So nice to see you live. Alive. Yes. We are alive. So here we are in our mid-70s, and we could we could have died a long time ago. A lot of people do. Yeah. Sure. You know what I mean? But you just never know. And tomorrow we could be dead. So there is that. So, I mean, so some of the things that happen are not things that we want to happen, but many people have gone through some major changes because of the things that have happened. For example... A lot of people are thinking about staying home and working out of their homes. Now, there are other people who can't work out of their homes. You know, they have to go into offices and warehouses and factories. Right. Restaurants. And so on. Restaurants, yeah. I mean, you know, but everybody's life has been so dramatically impacted. And um, 
we all need a lot of love and support to face all of that and all the uncertainty that that brings. And I feel it too. It's like, well, are we going to survive? Are we going to financially survive? What's going to happen next, right? Oh my God, you know, are we going to make it? And look at what happened to our retirement and all of that stuff. But there are good things can happen too. And, and like I say, some bad things can be good things. You know, sometimes people change and they learn something and they're challenged. And so you never know what might come out of something or there might be a mass rebellion against something that is really stupid and that people have bought into because they are now not in their normal lives, right? And when you're not in your normal lives, you tend to get out of your normal thinking. It's like, Ugh! somebody slaps you in the face and you say, uh, duh. I wonder why I'm still doing that. You know, <laughs> things become less significant. Um, I wonder if women who are working online are wasting as much time getting dressed in the morning and putting on their makeup that's poisoning their bodies. You know, I wonder about these things. I saw Kamala Harris last night or today in these high heel stiletto shoes. I mean, for Christ's sake, Joe Biden doesn't do that. Anyway, don't, <laughs> don't get me on the topic. So, so well, you know a, he doesn't dress and drag on his side. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, it's just so stupid that women are still expected to dress like that. But, you know, a lot of women are probably uh, not doing as much or... There's a, so you just don't know what's going to happen, even from something that looks kind of like traumatic. And, and you just never know when something positive is going to happen. Ten years ago, sweet baby James would, didn't, wasn't in my life. That's right. And, and just see how my whole life has blown up because of you. <laughs> you see? Hopefully in a good way. Of course. In a very good, I'm not the lone. We may fight a lot, but I'm not lonely because I'm busy fighting with him. <laughs> that, that's that's how we, we go between uh, <laughs> cuddling and fighting. Yeah, we do. Arguing rather. That's right. But you see what I'm saying? It's like, oh, I thought it would never happen. I thought it would never happen. So if somebody's in their 20s or 30s or 40s and they're saying, oh, I'm entering this shitty economy and it's never going to get better. Well, I'm sure people who went through the Great Depression felt the same way. Sometimes it feels like things will never change and they're all bad, but maybe our values begin to change. Maybe the American dream sucked anyway. It's like, oh, no, we were being robbed of the American dream. What is the American dream? Step on everybody, get ahead, make a lot of money and leave... Have a bigger house than somebody else. That's right, and leave money to your children who hate you anyway because you were so busy making money and you didn't spend any time <laughs> with them. So... You know, it's just it's just so many horrible. Well, when you look at the the killings of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd and so many other black people, has really awakened a degree of consciousness that I, I haven't seen. You know, so bad things can sometimes. You know, you never know what good can come, and sometimes things come out of the blue and they just hit you like clobber you, and. Uh, Sometimes wonderful things happen. Think maybe uh, people are going to wake up to global warming as we stop driving as much. You know? So what I'm saying is don't despair because despair is like that uh, rabbit hole. Downward spiral. Downward, down, down, down. Deeper, deeper, down, down, down. Plus, you can always come to Granny Rock because you never know what we're going to say. That's true. So you can stay permanently entertained. Just not, by only, not, only, in. not even Granny knows what she's going to say. Absolutely not. I never know what I was going to say. So I love keeping that openness and that optimism and that hopefulness because we don't know what destiny has in mind for us individually, for us collectively for our whole world. So, I mean, that bombing in, not the bombing, but the explosion in Beirut that has killed so many people has given rise to a lot of protests in Lebanon, right? You yeah. just never know. So let's try to support 
the positive stuff and don't let ourselves get too desperate because if we do um, we might get really depressed and we might make some decisions that are bad decisions that are premature decisions that are decisions that end up being not necessary and very hurtful um, there's a couple of things I'd like to add go right ahead well one is um, learning to live with uncertainty uh, you know life is going to be a struggle you know things are going to come along that are challenges so why not just uh, accept that and take things more in stride and try to stay calm yes James don't panic stay why, calm. why not why not do that great idea great advice because <laughs> stress isn't good for you no stress is not good for you so you might as well you know meet things head on the other so, thing I want to share yes is uh, oh, I've lost my thought oh I'm sorry oh, go ahead I'll, I'll come back to you. okay so it's a good thing that when you're feeling despair you know you can always call a suicide hotline uh, you can call a friend uh, you can watch a cartoon you can listen to music there's a lot of things to do when you're feeling despair but always remember that life for most of us is long and arduous and oh my god when I think of where I was 70 years ago 65 years ago I could never have imagined where I would be living how I would be living what my life course would have been so take the long term perspective and remember that you never know so I've thought of that thing that I have. Okay. Life is for learning. If you can learn from, if you can see each experience as an opportunity to learn and adapt, learn and make a course correction in another direction, whatever it is. Uh, I find life is, is a very fascinating learning experience, and I'm constantly uh, endeavoring to grow. And so, if I can learn something here, learn something there, that helps me to be more conscious, helps to have more peace of mind within myself. Uh, then I can be a happier person. So we, our hearts go out to the people who are in despair tonight, and there are many. I think I was in despair yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but I had you to look forward to, right? I could talk to you, and you never know what's going to happen on the show and what people are going to say and who we're going to reach. And keep your, keep your life as full of surprises as you possibly <laughs> can and try to get help if you find yourself slipping in despair don't think it's necessary don't think that it is the inevitable result of circumstances but it isn't so on the you never know topic I want to share that we would like to help everybody tonight to connect to their spirit because that fighting spirit keeps us going <clears throat> and so we did a video on our new keyboard and we it's did a it music the, video it's a music video we'd love to share it with you we'd like you to kick back we'd like you to listen I know this is not dreams of peace dreams of peace it's every Thursday night I play the piano and we get into whatever it is that helps lift the spirit but this music kind of like puts us into a very calm space and I'd like you to listen and to relax and feel yourself supported by the positive energy you never know it might help you so it's about 15 minutes so just relax and the music keeps changing we won't be able to hear it but I'm going to see these signals going up and down and I'm going to assume that I know what's going on and that you're getting it so love and here's the music it's called inner odyssey hi there I am Beth Green, otherwise known as Granny Rocks. And I am James Maynard, otherwise known as Sweet Baby Jean. And in this video, we are hoping to help all of us to connect more deeply and easily to our spirits. So, mm -hmm. hopefully, we will be able to do that. This will be improvised. I will be improvising on the keyboard and James will be improvising on the vocals. And we are assisted by a 
Clavinova uh, that will be providing a lot of those cool background sounds for us. <laughs> so.
Well, we hope that this music gave you a lift, connected you to your spirit. We got uh, a love. Well, we got a wonderful message from Tracy. Yes, we got a, a love. Yeah, and she thanks gave, gave from us a love. Ollie. And then well, we got. Yeah, Tracy says mystical and magical. That is really wonderful. And then Ollie says, "Hello, good morning to two beautiful-hearted people." I wish you all the best in life, love, and respect. Thank you, Ali. Same to you. You know, a few weeks ago, I didn't have this instrument. This is a new instrument for us, <laughs> this digital keyboard. And I had always wanted to be able to play with a band and, um, you know, be able to play different kinds of sounds. And James improvised and I improvised at the same time. We had no plan. And we are so delighted that we were able to somehow do this. And, you know, that we felt like God just came through us. And so you never know. I never thought in a million years that we could do this. And um, we have some other responses. Yes, uh, cats uh, gave it... Uh three rounds of applause and, and love oh we oh, and, we're so uh, grateful todd uh, gave it to like five stars oh thank and, you and uh, then there was also elizabeth said bravo thank you guys thank you everybody so i hope that this gives you some strength connect to your spirit oh and amy says thank you for taking us to another place and she sent five hearts of love thank you so four, four, actually. we just never know, do we? We never thought we could do this, and we did. Yep. Right, and we're old and infirm, and we're we're still discovering and living, and you just never know. And uh, mm -hmm. oh, there's another comment. I found myself. Elizabeth says, "I found myself dancing and connected with my soul." I can't find words to describe. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, that yeah. is... We felt the same way. We felt transported. You know, we did not do this. This music came to us. And we hope to offer more music to you on Granny Rocks. And we may incorporate some of this music in Dreams of Peace. Normally, I play the acoustic piano. But this is... 
an amazing instrument that we got and we bought it and we didn't know what we were going to do with it and we couldn't afford it but you know we did it and you just never know so let's keep looking forward all of us and have the faith that we will find our spirits and our strength you never know what is going to take you to that next place in your own evolution so remember grow every wednesday uh granny rocks granny i mean granny rocks every wednesday at 6 30 and if you don't mind we would love to incorporate more music into uh this show and thursday nights we have dreams of peace at 7 p.m pacific time and our hearts go out to you please share this video like it love it comment and we will answer you later uh after we have because we have a group coming up next and after that we'll get back and we'll do the best that we can so thank you to yes. our wonderful audience we didn't know how you were going to react you just never know you just never know you just never know so we love you and bless you everybody yeah, I love that, Elizabeth. Dancing and connected with my soul. I can't wor find words to describe. That makes it all worthwhile. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye for now.